Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone. Now Capstone is only going to be offered in the 5.5 foot variant Crewmax with the iForce Max engine. Now iForce Max is Toyota's twin turbo V6. It makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, which are some insane numbers. And this truck does that all while being able to tow over 10,000 pounds and while also getting an average of about 20 miles per gallon. In this overview, we're gonna go over the exterior of this truck and then we're gonna jump inside and talk about some of the features. So starting off right here in the front of the Capstone Tundra, you can see we have this massive, massive front grille. You can see we've got these really large cutouts. I can probably even fit my entire hand into these grille cutouts right over here. And every single row of this front grille has a lot of chrome on it. So we have these like chrome stripes that go all the way across the grille. You can see also we have our chrome Toyota emblem over here, which is also huge, just like everything in this truck. And we have that blue outline because this is a hybrid. Right under that, we have our front mounted camera that's gonna assist us with some of the different camera angles that we're gonna show you guys inside later but we have 360 degree camera angles all around this truck. Just under the Toyota emblem, we have our front mounted camera. This is gonna help out with the 360 degree uh, cameras that we have all around the truck. Then we have some extra lights over here, just down below the grill on the side. We have Tundra also written on this piece over here. We've got front parking sensors over here, as well as on the side. And let's also take a look at these LED headlights, which are kind of in this like upside down L-shaped pattern. And then we also have some venting over here, just underneath those headlights. Moving over to the hood, you can see we have some really, really strong body lines over here, which kind of raises the hood up going off to the sides. And then over here on the sides, we also have these little pieces of plastic, which are fake vents, but we have iForce Max right here really just makes the truck pop. Now, of course, under the hood, we have that twin turbo V6 hybrid. But what's really interesting about this powertrain is it's the only hybrid engine that Toyota has that doesn't have a CVT transmission. It actually has a 10 speed regular automatic transmission. Now, moving on over to wheels and tires, you can see we have these 22 inch dark chrome alloy wheels. And although these are 22 inches, they're massive, massive wheels. They don't look too out of place on this truck just because of how big everything else is. Now our tire here is a Bridgestone Dueler and the tire size is gonna be 265, 50, 22. Now moving on over to the side, you can see we have these chrome and black side mirrors. So we have chrome at the top, black right here on the bottom. There's a turn signal indicator built in. We also have one of our cameras for the 360 degree camera system as well underneath the mirror. The mirrors also have blind spot monitors here. Door handles are chrome and we do have keyless entry here for the driver and passenger side. No keyless entry here in the back. We also have this little plaque right here on the side that does say capstone on it. And then that chrome going around that plaque also extends all the way out to the end of the cab. Around the windows, you can see we have some chrome that kind of runs along the bottom and then goes up right there to the top of the window. And then we do have two little black strips over here going in between the front and rear window. And then our A pillar also has some black right here as well going up to the top, but not fully. So we still have some piece right here of that white at the top. Just behind all of that, you can see we have our fuel door right here, which you cannot open up without going inside the truck, which I love because for the longest time, one thing that I really hated about Toyota trucks was that anybody can just open this up and take your gas. And so finally that's fixed with the Tundra. You actually have to get inside the cabin and hit the little fuel door unlock in order to actually open up this cap. Behind the rear wheel, you can see we have our single exit chrome tipped exhaust over here. It does also have a Toyota emblem on it. And then just behind that, you can kind of see we have our bed step over here, which the way that this works is it's gonna extend once we open up the tailgate. So you can see one of the cooler ways to open up the tailgate here in the Tundra is we can push right here just to the left of the tail light. We can actually just bump that with our elbow if we're holding something. That's gonna extend the bed step over here. And then we can actually step into the bed super easily. Back here, you can see we have our LED tail lights. Also, when the tailgate is open down here, you can see it does also say Tundra on it. And inside this five and a half foot bed, you can see we have some lighting. And then we also have a 120 volt power outlet as well. Once we close up that tailgate, you can see the bed step is gonna go away. Now we do have in Chrome four by four written over here on the tailgate. Our uh, normal handle right here is also in Chrome and it also says Toyota on it. We have our camera and a light over here. 
There's also Tundra letter by letter stamped into the tailgate. Now moving down below, you can see we have our trailer brake pin connections. We have some parking sensors back here. Looks like we got four more over here. We have a two inch tow hitch receiver. Remember this Tundra can tow over 10,000 pounds. And then we also have a spare tire underneath the truck. I'm standing in the bed now of the Capstone Tundra and you can see over here on top of the truck, we have our panoramic sunroof, which extends pretty far almost to the end of the cab. We also have our shark fin antenna back here, which is very nicely black. And then just back behind that, we have extra two cameras, which are gonna help us uh, when we're reversing. We'll see inside later that the reverse cameras in this Tundra are super, super good. And then we also have extra bed lighting over here. Let's go ahead and jump into the interior now of the Capstone Tundra. And you can see, as soon as I open up the door, we have these extending running boards, which if you don't like this to extend every time you open the door, we can actually just go ahead and turn that off right here for now. But moving on over here to the door card, you can see sort of the interior color combination that we're gonna have here for this Tundra. So the capstones have the semi-aniline leather, which is sort of like a mix of this white and black, which we'll get into in a second. But you can see we have that same kind of pattern going over here on the door card. So we have this American walnut over here on the side. We have our memory seats. We have auto up down windows for all four of our window switches. We have also automatic folding mirrors. So when you lock the truck, it's gonna automatically fold in those mirrors for you. Some chrome right here on the door handle. And we just have a lot of leather over here. So pretty much a good mix of leather and plastics. We've got two water bottle holders, lots of storage also here. And then take a look at these speaker cutouts also wrapped around in chrome. These look super nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at these seats. Now these seats are what Toyota is calling semi-aniline leather. It's a mix of this white and black color. And you can see these seats are also perforated because they are heated and ventilated. Now these seats have this black and white color combo. You can see even the headrest has this black and white color combo. The seats here are also power operated for both the driver and the passenger side. And what's really cool is we get this kind of little leg extension piece. So for more driving support, looks like we can extend this piece all the way out and make the ride even more comfortable. Over to the left of the steering wheel here, you can see we have some bed lighting. We have our automatic high beams, our release for that fuel door. So you can see if I hold down right here, that fuel door is gonna go ahead and unlock. We also have our brightness control for that 12.3 inch gauge, which we'll get to in just a second. We have our odometer trip reset, an off button for those rear parking sensors. Over here to the left, we have these automatic extending running boards. So we can actually take the running board out or we can just leave it in the middle so that anytime we're gonna open the door, it's gonna automatically extend those running boards or we can just turn that off completely, which I think I just did. We also have our heated steering wheel button and an on and off switch for the 120 volt power outlet in the bed. Sitting inside of the Capstone Tundra right now, you can see our driver's side does also have a grab handle to make it easier for you to get in and out of the truck. Passenger side also has that same grab handle, but you can take a look at this steering wheel, which we have right here. This is a really nice, really thick steering wheel. It has this white stitching kind of on the inner portions right here. And then just like how we just saw with the Forerunner, we have this kind of like fake perforation right here, which uh, does give it some really nice feel. We have this sort of rectangular airbag over here, and then we have three rows of buttons. So right side over here is gonna control sort of our radar cruise control, lane depart assisting modes. And then we have audio and multimedia over here on the bottom row, which is gonna be here in the black. And then the left side is gonna control that 12.3 inch digital gauge, which we're gonna show you here in a second. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the Capstone Tundra now. So foot on the brake pedal, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button and you can see the entire 12.3 inch digital gauge is gonna light up. Now the only controllable part of this gauge is gonna be this left side right over here, which we're gonna control with these steering wheel buttons. And then we can also control with these ones over here. What we're seeing, the right side and the center piece doesn't really change too much. Now up top, we do also have a 10 inch heads up display, which you can probably see right over there. It's probably gonna flash on the screen, but in person, it doesn't flash. That's just, you know, the camera's refresh rate having a hard time picking up that heads up display. But this is a super, super nice cabin. You can see also behind the steering wheel here, we have our automatic headlights. The steering wheel does also adjust. So we have this electronic adjusting steering wheel over here. And then moving on over to the center, you can see we have that 14 inch display. So really, really massive screen. This is now the second year that we're seeing Toyota's new audio multimedia system. And this is starting to trickle down into all of their other models, but this does have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So I've got my iPhone over here 
here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it and show you guys what that looks like. All right, so I got my phone all paired up now with Bluetooth and you can see now that I have Apple CarPlay enabled, I can go ahead and tap right here. I have a new option at the top of this little menu row and that's gonna turn on my Apple CarPlay, which looks super nice on this 14 inch display. Now moving down further from that 14 inch screen, we have our climate controls over here. We do have dual zone climate control, so different temperatures for driver and passenger side. We have our volume knob over here, which is super cool. It's got a really nice grip to it and it even has these like fake screws, which is a really nice touch. Like we mentioned earlier, we also have heated and ventilated seats for both the driver and the passenger side. We have a USB type A over here as well. Just down below that, we have another row of buttons. So we have our emergency lights over here. We have our traction off 360 degree camera. I'm gonna turn that on in just a second. And then we also have our trailer backup guide. So the Tundra, if you're backing up with a trailer, it's gonna help you and automatically straighten you out. Now you can see clicking down right here on this camera view is actually gonna turn on our 360 degree camera and it's gonna do this little spin around the car to tell you everything that's around. Now you can also see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. If we put the truck into reverse, it's also gonna show us over here on the right side, everything that's around the truck. And then of course we have just our regular backup camera, which if we turn the steering wheel, you can see our guideline is gonna change. And then just down below that, we have what's called views. So we can see, we can look only through the front camera. We can look only through the reverse camera. And then we have these two extra buttons over here. So we can just see from the side mirrors looking forward from the side mirrors looking back. So we have lots of different cool things we can change, you know, whether our camera is gonna come on automatically if we slow down the truck, and then we can also change where our guidelines are pointing. And this is actually another really cool one that I forgot about. We can even look right here at what we have inside the bed. You can see just below this row of buttons, we have our brake hold feature, electronic parking brake, which does come on automatically if we put the truck into park. And then we also have our wireless phone charger over here, so we can just leave the phone right there. You can see I'm now Qi charging, wireless charging with my phone, and also using wireless Apple CarPlay. We also have a little spot right here where we have two cup holders. And then now just below the shifter, we have our transfer case so we can switch between two wheel and four wheel drive very easily just by pushing down and switching this into a different spot. And then just beside that, you can see we have this wheel right here, which is gonna do different things based off of which mode you have selected. So right now I have it selected on drive mode. So you can see as I switch this, I can switch between sport, normal and eco mode which is gonna have this little graphic right here on the display. And then it's also gonna show me on that 14 inch screen what mode I'm in. Now the other one here is gonna be tow haul. So we can go ahead and push this right here. And now by spinning the wheel, we can switch between tow and tow plus. And then there's gonna be two more buttons right here, which the capstone doesn't have. That's gonna be crawl control and the DAC, so the downhill assist control. Those are not available on the capstone edition. You can see I have the key right here for the capstone Tundra which looks like pretty much all the other new Toyota keys. But what's really cool is we do have a button right here which we can hold to drop the tailgate as well. Moving further along back this center area over here, you can see we have this piece of wood which we can open up for some smaller storage. So if you have any sort of like flatter objects, maybe like a notepad or something, you can fit that in there. Now closing this up, you can see we have another storage area right here. And then this entire thing right here is actually the center console. So we have two buttons. You can either push right here on the driver's side or the passenger can open this up. Both of them do the same function. It's just gonna lift this up and reveal the center console, which isn't too deep, but it is a huge center console. We also have a USB type A and a USB type C over here with a lot of storage. And we can even move these things around for uh, different you know, storage configurations. I'll just set this over here to the side. And then actually what's really cool down below here, you can see we have little trucks around the center console, which I believe is supposed to be the Tundra, even though it just kind of looks like a generic car slash truck. There's also gonna be two cup holders behind the center console, which are mainly meant to be used by the people who are gonna be sitting in the back. Moving on over to the passenger side, we have more of the same stuff over here. We have this really large piece right here of that white leather. We've got some wood just up top over there. And then underneath we do have our glove box, which isn't as big as you would expect, you know, with everything else in this truck being as big as it is, you would probably expect the glove box to also be massive, but in this case, it's not. Above the screen, you can see we have some more storage as well as a 12 volt power outlet up here. We've got more speakers. We have our cutout right there for that heads up display. 
And then moving up over here to the rear view mirror, you can see this is Toyota's digital rear view mirror. So we can go ahead and flip this switch right here. And we have a camera, which we can also adjust. So like personally, I like mine to be pointed downwards a little bit, but you can adjust this to your liking. The mirror also has home link, so we can program up to three different garage remotes to be opened at the push of one of these buttons. Moving up, you can see we have our sunglass holder over here. We've got some lights. We also have a push open button right here. This is gonna go ahead and open up the rear glass back there behind those rear seats. We also have a panoramic sunroof, which we can actually open up right over here. Now this is the same one that we saw up at the top when we were standing in the bed of the truck, but this is gonna extend all the way out past the back seats over there. So you can see just how huge that is. And then we also have some light control. So right now we have it to set so that the lights come on when we open the doors. We have our emergency SOS button, as well as a mood lighting button. The visors here are also super cool, not only because they're huge and we have a mirror, but because it does also extend. So if we need that extra coverage anywhere, we can extend that visor for that more extra coverage. Now moving along to the second row here, second row door card, more of the same stuff that we saw in the front. You can also see down here just below the seats, we have some venting for the hybrid batteries. And then also just like how we have on that side to fold up these seats, you're just gonna go ahead and lift up right here on this bottom portion. Looks like we've got some carpet floor mats. We've got our first aid kit. I just took out this box right here, which has the all weather floor mats. Over here in the second row, we also have heated and ventilated seats for both of the left and the right side. We have a 120 volt power outlet as well as a USB type A and a USB type C. We have those extra air vents back here as well. And then we also have storage pockets behind the driver and the passenger side. And if you're not using the middle seat, we can also fold this right here down for two extra cup holders. And we can't forget the most important thing back here. We do also have some peasant blockers, so we can go ahead and put these up right here so that nobody can bother you when you're sitting in the back of your $75,000 truck. So that's gonna do it for this not so quick, quick overview of the 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if anybody wants to donate me $75,000 so I can buy this truck because I really love it, let me know and I'll see you all next week. $176, almost 31 gallons later. I still love this truck.